Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. Now I have the Flytanium Titanium scales installed on it that are beautifully stonewashed. I think these are just really, really great scales since they got rid of the different position holes for the pocket clip. Makes it look a lot cleaner. But anyways, you guys have left a few comments down below and wanted to know how a anodized scale holds up from everyday use. And I've had the exact same thought and I wanna know how it holds up as well. So what I'm gonna to do today is anodize it the darkest color that I can, which I think is the purple that you get at 18 amps. But that's a really dark color. And if anything happens to the everyday use, it'll be easily noticeable against a darker anodizing. Now I'm gonna be taking this apart off camera since I've done it a few times. And if you guys haven't seen the video where I install these titanium scales, I'll leave a link up to that somewhere up here in the corner. You guys can check that out if you guys haven't seen it already. But once it's all taken apart, I'm going to wash it in the sink with Dawn soap. And then after that, I'm going to dip it into a jar of distilled water just to keep it from getting contaminated and getting any other oils on it since oils will affect the anodizing process. So with that being said, I will see you guys down in the shop and we'll go from there. All right, so we're down here in the shop and I do have my scales nicely washed with Dawn soap. And then this is distilled water to keep the scales from getting contaminated or any oils on it, which would affect the anodizing. So I have the bath ready here. And just so you guys know, I do have a video of where I show you how I do this and I go a little more in depth about it. So I'll leave a link up in the corner where you guys can check that video out if you haven't seen it already. But with this machine, since I do, or I did a couple runs, 18 will give me the purple that I do like. If I don't like it, I can always turn it up just a little bit more just to tweak the purple. Uh, I don't want to go too much into blue. Again, I want that darker color, so if it does get scratched over, over time with use, then we can spot the scratches or see how it holds up, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one scale, dip it in, and we're going to see what we get. So I do have my titanium wire here. It's got two prongs sticking out. This is where I'm going to lay the scale. And then we're just going to dip it. And it should give us a purple. So I'm going to connect the positive here. Grab one. Grab one of the scales. And then just lay it on. Again, I'm, I'm wearing gloves this time, so make sure to wear gloves, you guys. And I'm at 18, which is where I want it to be. So we're going to dip it in, and it should take a couple seconds. And I'm going to make sure not to touch any of the, the metal pan. But here we go. So yeah, we got there pretty quick. That bronze was a cool color too, but it's a little bit on the lighter side. And I, again, I wanted something darker. So the machine's almost kind of floating around at zero. Or sorry, at two for the wattage is. I'm trying to wait until it's almost at zero. So right now as you guys can see it's it's below one wattage which I'm happy with. It's as close as I'm gonna get. I could wait here a little bit longer till it's zero but it's it's pretty much where I want it to be so I'm gonna take it out and we are gonna inspect it really quick. And there is our purple which I think looks really really good. Uh, once I dry it off, it, it should be even darker. So what I'm going to do is do the other one. And that's pretty much it. So I don't want to get too... You can see it's already drying up here. There we go. So you can see it's already a lot darker, which I'm happy with. So what I'm going to do is, again, do the other one. And then I will meet you guys up in the studio. And we'll go from there. So we are back up in the studio. We can get a closer look at what happened with the anodizing. As you guys remember, it was pretty dull after I took it out of the bath, but as soon as I dried it, I mean, that purple just popped. So it's a lot darker. It's exactly what I was looking for. So again, if you do have those machines, mess with them and figure out with a scrap piece of titanium of what you're getting, because each machine is different. So I went with 18 amps because this is what I liked on my sample piece, and I think it looks really, really good. 
And one thing I did notice is different finishes, so it's a little bit shinier where the, the milling was done in here. It's actually a more golden violet. So if this was all polished, that would be the color. But since it is stonewashed, you get that deeper purple, even a little bit of blue, you guys can see right there, especially on the edges, get that blue. But I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Always appreciate you guys' input. But again, I went with this deeper color because I'm going to be carrying this for the next two weeks. And we're going to see how this anodizing holds up. And another thing I wanted to show you guys was, because I know as soon as I put my fingerprints on here, it's going to affect the anodizing. But with some Windex, you can actually wipe it clean. So more than likely that's going to happen when I assemble this knife. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is assemble the knife. And if I get those weird fingerprints, I'll show you with Windex of how a quick wipe will just get rid of it. So let's put it together and see what it looks like. So here it is all assembled. And like I said, my fingerprints were going to affect it, but it's not too bad. It actually looks pretty cool since it gives it a blue, a bluish color on top of the purple. And I forgot to mention that I cleaned off the hardware to have a satin finish, just to kind of go with the rest of the blade. Uh, I'm not a fan of the finish on the blade and the hardware and the pocket clip. Uh, again, this is just a test run on the anodizing and when I really customize this knife, uh, I'm gonna do some, some more touches. I wanna do a harpoon little uh, touch to the blade up here, just to change it slightly. And then etch stone wash the blade, and I'll be anodizing the hardware as well since it is titanium. More than likely I'll be etching and stone washing the liners just so it's nice and dark. And definitely gonna be getting a, a custom backspacer and a custom pocket clip. So yeah, don't, don't be thinking this is going to stay the way it is. Again, just a test run on that anodizing. And again, I think that dark, that dark hardware and dark finish on everything is going to go good with the, the vibrant green that I want to go with. So the high voltage green, I think it'll look really good with that, with the darker colors. But anyways, there is the finished anodizing titanium scales from Flytanium. Again, uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick on how to get rid of these little funny streaks. But I'm going to carry this for about two weeks and I'll do an update video on how it performed or how it lasted. Again, this will be the knife that I carry for two weeks straight. Even if I carry my, my daily carry or my little coin pocket knife. So this will always be on me for the next two weeks. So I'm really curious to see how it holds up since my fingerprints are already messing with it that's an easy fix i mean a scratch is a scratch but uh really quick i do have some windex here i'm going to spray it on a towel paper towel sorry just dab it you don't need much and i noticed if you give it like one just one quick wipe from top to bottom it'll keep it it'll keep it from getting uh, streaks up and down or whichever way you're moving so i like to just let it air dry and there you go back to brand new compared to what this was as you guys can see it's kind of splotchy and nice and clean so windex is a miracle worker on anodized titanium so i forgot where i learned that trick but i'm glad i learned it and i just wanted to share it with you guys so i'm gonna clean this off really quick get some good pictures of it but that is it and i will see you guys with this knife in about two more weeks so thank you for the support Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.